Hello everyone, it is Jeff again here with Horrible Editing and Lighting and Lighting to bring you the Magic the Gathering 2012 Corset Booster Battle Pack. This was kind of cool because I was at the store looking at all the other starter decks which run for about 13 bucks a piece and this was only 10. What's kind of cool about this is $10 is about the price that you get two booster packs for anyways. In addition to the two booster packs, you also get, let me get this up here you can see it, you get two 20 card semi-randomized decks, two 15 card packs as stated before, learn to play guide and a rules insert. This is kind of cool because lately Magic is getting pretty bad about giving rule books out lately with the advent on the internet and everything. I have from about like 5th edition, I think was the last time I seen a rule book in a starter deck. So this is kind of neat. So I think what I'm going to do is off camera I'm going to open it up and we're going to take a peek inside of this thing and we're going to see if this is worth the value of $10. So give me just a second here. The magic cards appear from nowhere. Okay, so here's what was inside. It's two, a black and a red box stuck together. So that's kind of neat. So let's take a look inside of these things. Alright, so there's our semi-randomized deck. So I assume we're going to have red and some other evil colors in the, the red box. And here's our booster pack. It'd be really funny if I pulled a mythic rare or planeswalker. Alright, see what else we got in here. Alright, so this must be the other deck, or did they give me two random little packy things to make a deck out of? Interesting. So we'll look at those in a moment. Let's see what they got here. Okay. So this is the standard. Let's advertise the game. You got the five planeswalkers here to describe each color. I like how they changed out, like the white one and the black one and the red one. From the original stack because they're horrible, and gave back into the ones from the other from other sets. Basic golf of how to play. Actually, they made a new Jace. I like how they well. I like how they show a mythic rare as part of the. Here's the cool looking card. It's Baron showing something stupid like a lamb. Who cares about that? We don't know how to play. Right Ouch! I hit my hand on stuff. All right, let's open up this random little goober pack that they gave me here. I'm going to assume that these two little see-through things make up the deck that you get. Yeah, so this is this deck's going to have green and red in it. And they give you an overrun, which is kind of nice. I don't know how the hell you're going to play it, though, like a 45-card deck. Let's see. Plummet. Some crappy vanilla card. That's pretty cool. 3-2 for 2. That trample. Hmm. And elf. Alright, let's look at the other one. This kind of cool. So we're just getting something useful like Overrun as an addition to the other cards you get in the packs. It's kind of neat. So this is red. You get a volcanic dragon. That's kind of cool. I'm so glad they made this guy on commons. I was so sick of pulling these all the time. And like, was it sixth edition? He was in as a rare. And this guy was also in Mirage. And Mirage one was cool because it's black border. So the mountains, good stuff. All right, let's see what we get in the pack. And that's supposed to help finish your deck. Yeah, this right. is supposed to flash out, so I'm going to assume since I am the red and black that I should only use the red and black cards. Lightning Elemental, what a piece of shit. A wall, yay. Fog, it's always good. Crimson Mage. It's interesting. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Alright, so that, that's pretty awesome. These are in the colors I got were red and green. That is absolutely awesome. Alright, I'm sure I got them all. Oh, that's right. The packs now give you a land every time, too. Yeah, so that's, so that's pretty awesome. Pull the, the dual land, or the kind of dual land now that they make that's kind of fair for the two colors I got. So let's open the other box. Are we going to play against each other, Jeff? I don't know. Alright, so this deck is going to be black and blue, the two colors I'm going to turn you. We're getting this. Vampire. That is not very good. Interesting. Alright, well, kind of eh, black cards. Doesn't surprise me. I don't like giving you good black cards. Let's see. 
There we go. Cancel. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, I'm not that impressed with those. Let's see if we get in the pack. Maybe, the pack Maybe we'll get like a black and blue dual land. That'll be. Okay, sorry about that. Evidently the camera fell over in the middle while I was talking about the second pack. So I kind of already opened it. But, uh, basically it's just more of the same. It's, uh, you get a pack, you got a, a Doom Blade, it's always awesome. Uh, I'm glad they made this only cost two black instead of being one colorless and two. Death Mark's always good. It's only good against one half of the other deck, though, considering that it's red and green, not black and red, like I said before. Levitation. It's cool, you got a Kraken's Eye in this pack also. Can't complain about that. Um, the Redirect. It's pretty nice. Two blue Vanna symbols. And a bunch of stuff I can't use, except for this one. So, I'm fairly impressed with, with this overall, because you get two little... Say about about 30 card decks based off the pack you get and from the two little mini packs they give you and you get cool little boxes to put them in and it's not bad and then now you can have a pack booster pack duel where you can play against your two horrible random decks that have like one rare in them each like any starter deck so so overall, I'm going to give this probably a B because you do get a lot of cards in there for your values. Like I said, it's only 10 bucks. Most of the time when you buy like a starter deck, not a starter deck, but two booster packs, you pay 10 bucks anyways, and you get a fair bit of land so you can actually flesh out a new deck and start getting some foundation for the colors you get. And they give you fairly decent cards for each color. I don't really like how a lot of them have two mana symbols in it. That kind of defeats the point of trying to mix the colors together. And the overrun is it's kind of a little bit redundant because there's three green mana symbols in that. So that wasn't very smart. It's a good card, yes, but overrun the, the, the cool boxes you get. This is neat how they're together. You can put them like this. And I just thought it was a really neat idea that they made this. So overall, I'll give it a B. It's for 10 bucks, not bad. Like I said, you get some foundation of the two colors they give you and uh to go with the packs you get so at least if you buy this you know you'll get something good based off the little mini packs so overall I'm, I'm impressed with this so this was a new little thing i decided to do i as y'all might have t could tell from my other video i did i had the flu and i was high on cold medicine the whole time so i'm getting better but i didn't have any time to write the excalibur review it's about half done so I'll get to that soon. I also noticed in the background I, sh I turned the monitor off so you don't see the error message that's sitting there right next to the starter video saying about how my antivirus is out of date. So I'm sure you'll like the non huge white glow in your face. So as usual the next thing I'll do if I have the writing done I'll have Excalibur up for y'all when I figure out a way to capture the video. Otherwise we're going to review the Lost Sanctuary deck because they still sell these. They don't sell the Merit deck anymore. That would have been really cool to talk about, but we're going to talk about the Lost Sanctuary Structure deck from Yu-Gi-Oh! So I know y'all want me to do some other games besides just Magic, but I just thought this was really interesting. And another thing I want to do after the Lost Sanctuary Structure deck is I saw in this store also a starter deck for Pokemon that had Shadow Pokemon in it, which is the color that I wanted to play, but they die like hell to Lightning, which is Hi. also in the other deck. And I also want to review the, the Dawn of the XYZ starter deck for Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. So those are some just future things coming up. This is just a quick review. It's not really going to be as long as my other one. And please forgive the jump cuts of the camera falling over in the middle of me opening the second pack. I know it was horrible not seeing me open it, but this is Jeff again here at StarCat Products. Please leave any comments or any questions you have, and I'll see you all next week.